This is the best iPad point of sale system out there for restaurants and I'm going to be doing a full demo so that way you guys can see if it's a good fit for your business or not. Here is our main point of sale system and it's just an iPad with an enclosure around it. This is built out of aluminum and there is also a credit card reader on the side here. Now this credit card reader takes EMV chips, it takes swipe and it also does tap to pay. So that tap to pay works for credit cards, debit cards, and it also works for smartphones, Apple watches, and whatever device that has some sort of tap to pay on it. And most of your customers will probably have an iPhone and yes, it does work with an iPhone. Now this credit card reader hooks up directly to the charging port of the iPad itself. And then there's actually a cable that hooks up from your wall outlet all the way to the credit card device. So the wall is powering the credit card reader and the credit card reader is powering your iPad. Now the iPad itself is actually hooked up wirelessly by Bluetooth to the kitchen printer and then the kitchen printer is hooked up by hardwire to your actual cash drawer here. Now the cash drawer can open by either turning the key or the cash drawer will open automatically once your customer pays with cash. Now this second screen is actually a customer facing display. Again, this display is also an iPad as well. And this display will show exactly what your customer is ordering as well as the prices on the screen. And those prices will be listed as a cash price and also a card price as well. And if you're wondering why there's two different prices, I'm going to explain that further in the processing section. But to give you the short answer, this is how you're going to save 3% per transaction. Like other companies like Square and Clover, those guys charge 3%. This company, they only charge about a flat rate fee of $50 per month. And some of you guys can save, you know, hundreds, sometimes even thousands of dollars per month by doing it like this. Now, another piece of hardware that we have is actually the kitchen display. Now the kitchen display works when a customer comes into the store, they place an order, and once they pay, the order actually gets submitted right to the kitchen display so that way the cooks in the back know when to prepare the order and what to prepare. Now if you have a full service restaurant where you have a host and you also have servers, that works a little differently and I will explain that further along in the video in the full service restaurant section. Now as far as hardware goes, that's about it, but you can add multiple of each item. So if you need multiple printers, if you need multiple point of sale systems, multiple cash drawers, multiple kitchen displays, you can get multiple of those if you need it. Now the only other piece of hardware that I did not talk about was the self-service kiosk. Now it looks exactly like this one right here, but your customers can actually walk up into your store and act as their own cashier and place their orders themselves. So this way your employees aren't stuck taking orders all day. Your employees are in the back preparing orders to actually serve your customers. So it makes it pretty convenient for your customers because if they know what they want, they just boom, 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 boom. And they place an order like that versus, you know, those customers who sit around, they wait, they look at the menu. And then after five minutes, they decide what they want. And at the end of the day, it's wasted five minutes of your employee's time because they're sitting there waiting for your customer to finally spit out their order at them. All right, so the next thing that we're talking about is the processing, credit card processing. So with a traditional credit card reader, you typically are selling an item, say the item costs $100, and your customer comes, they swipe with their credit card, and they wanna pay for that order for $100 you as the business owner are not getting all $100 sent to your bank account. There's interchange fees, processing fees, gateway fees, you know, there's all these different types of fees and the credit card processing companies take a small chunk of your $100. So typically it's gonna be about 3%. So if you have an order for $100, your customer buys that item, you are only getting $97 sent to your bank account. But with this iPad POS, you can keep all $100. You're basically paying $0 in processing fees. With this iPad-based POS, it was designed specifically for restaurant owners so that they can actually save that 3% in processing fees. So if you remember what I said earlier, there's two different prices. There's a cash price and there's also a card price. Now the cash price here for this order would be $17.07 but the card price would be $17.75. And the reason why we have two different prices is because we can actually pass those credit card fees off to your customer. So your customer is now paying for the credit card fees instead of you as the business owner 
And after doing thousands of transactions over the course of a month, that could save you upwards of $1,000 per month. All right, so this is gonna be our menu items. We're gonna have, you know, appetizers, we're gonna have salads, pizzas, burgers, you know, we have all of the items that we have in our store. And within these categories, we actually have the items. And then within the items, if we have different types of modifiers, for example, if this order wants sweet potato fries, we can add that, or a side salad or truffle fries, we can add those types of things within the item itself. And we can customize all of those items here on the back end. For example, if we want to add tacos to our store, all we have to do is type in tacos. We're gonna go ahead and select our super category. So for this one, it's gonna be food and then our default tax. And then all we have to do is hit add and set up. And then we can go ahead and drag and drop an image there. We can go ahead and type in tacos. Again, select our categories. We can even choose a color. And we can even mark this as an online ordering type of item if we want our customers to place orders online for our tacos. All right, so now that you can see down here on our POS, we actually have tacos right here. So if we wanna go ahead and add the different types of tacos, we actually have to go to items and we have to create the different types of tacos that we're gonna sell. So for example, say we have beef tacos, we can go ahead and type that in here. We're gonna have our sale price, say it's three tacos for $9. We can go ahead and select our category and our category, if you remember, is tacos. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the tax and go ahead and click on add and set up. Now this is also cool because we can actually track a lot of our expenses. So we can put whatever our cost of goods is and we can even put our margin percentage. So that way it gives us a better idea of what items are profitable and what items are not profitable. And I'll show you guys that in the reporting section towards the end of the video. All right, so once we have the tacos here under the items, all we have to do is go over here to the right and add associate variant. Um, and if you already have your variants created, uh, they will pop up here. So all you have to do is go ahead, select variant group, go ahead and click on the variant that you want. And then you're gonna go ahead and click on add. Um, I already did this in advance, but for example, we have, we have pizza toppings, which we already have for another product, but the same toppings apply for tacos as well. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that drop down menu. We're gonna add onions, tomatoes, and then some of the other toppings that we also have. Um, for this one is extra chicken. So once we have all of the toppings created, all we have to do is click on save. And then back here on our POS, if we go to tacos, beef tacos, we can see that extra chicken is an extra $2, or we can also change the name of pizza toppings, but you know, onions and tomatoes. Um, and if we wanted to, we can also make these included. So that way your customer is not paying extra. For those toppings you can also do combo deals if you have say you get tacos and a free drink or buy three tacos get one free you can do all sorts of different combos and different pricing strategies inside of your pos you can also use a barcode scanner um, i don't have one here with me but you can also include upc so for example say you sell drinks and a customer comes up with a drink all you have to do is scan the drink and it's going to pop up here automatically on your point of sale system. All right, so right now we're gonna go over the self-service kiosk. So if your customer comes into your business and they actually want to take their order themselves, so that way you can free up some more time for your employees, they just walk up to this screen right here and it's gonna have your logo or whatever you want it to say right here. And all they have to do is either enter their phone number. If they're already a member, they can either join and give you their information or they can just check out as a guest. And then this menu is gonna pop up or whatever it is that you sell. This is the menu that we set already. So we're gonna say our customer wants to buy a burger and our customer wants you know this barbecue burger and they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna select, um, they don't want fries, so they're gonna remove fries and they're gonna actually go with the sweet potato fries. And they also want their burger cooked medium rare and they can also tell us if they have some type of allergy. So if they have a peanut allergy, they can go ahead and tell us, tell us that as well. And then for their toppings, they say they want tomatoes, olives, mushrooms, onions. Then our customer can go ahead and add that to their cart. So there's not really a learning curve when it comes to your customers placing orders because your customers are already used to setups like this where they have to go into their cart and actually pay for their order. 
So your customer is going to see this screen right here. It's going to give them their total and they're going to go ahead and confirm that. And then they can go ahead and tell us their name. So our customer's name is Chad. Then they're going to go ahead and hit OK. And then they're actually going to pay. And our customer can do one of two things. Again, they have the two different pricing options. And this is going to save you a lot of money in processing fees if you do this method. So if they want to pay with their card, they can pay by either swiping the dip or tap to pay. Or they can pay by cash. And if they pay by cash, all they have to do is it's going to print out their order. And they're going to take their receipt and they're going to go to the cashier. And they're going to pay the cashier. All right, so now we're going to talk about the indoor table section. So if you go over to service areas, um, this is going to be all of your menus. You're going to have the indoor tables, the bar, takeout, quick order, and delivery. Here we're going to have the indoor tables. So all of your servers are going to be using this tab right here. So say we have somebody who comes into our restaurant and we sit them at that table. Now we can actually add different tables depending on where they are in our restaurant. So we can add, you know, two here, two more here. However your restaurant set up, we can add tables wherever you like. So say they want to sit here at table one. Say there's two people sitting there. We go ahead and update it. And then our server is going to go over. They're going to take their order, right? So person one, they want a pizza. And we can actually share the pizza. You can make it so the person one pays for it or person two pays for it. Now, as of right now, person one says they're going to get the pizza. And they want onions, extra sauce, pepperoni, and that's it. Now, person two, person two wants a burger. Now, they want that barbecue burger, and person two is going to pay for that order. And we're going to do sweet potato fries. So that means we have to remove the old fries, click on sweet potato fries, and they want it medium rare. And they also have a peanut allergy. And then they also want olives mushroom and avocado on their burger all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and send this order to our kitchen now the order is going to pop up on our kitchen display so that way the cooks in the back know exactly what to make so after our customer sits down they have their meal now is the time where they actually have to pay for that meal so when we go to the table when our server goes to the table they can either ask them hey how do you guys want to pay do you want to split the check evenly into two people so that way check one and check two have the same exact balance or do they want to split by position because remember person one got a 14 inch pizza and their total is a little bit lower than the person with the burger it's about eight dollars lower so does person one really want to pay for you know person two's burger so say they want to split by position so click on split by, by position we're going to go ahead and hit that x and then now person one can go ahead and pay for their order by either cash or card and remember cash prices are always lower than the card price because our customer is paying for the credit card fees instead of you having to pay for them out of your own pocket as the business owner so say they want to pay with their card we're gonna go ahead and actually process their order so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take their cards or take person one's card we're gonna go ahead and stick it since it has an EMV chip we're gonna stick it in the side here now it's going to process that order and then we're going to print depending on if you want a merchant copy and a customer copy or if you just want a customer copy. So right now we're just going to do a customer copy. Then our receipt printer is going to print out that copy. Now person one has already paid. Now we have to do person two. Now person two is a little bit different. Person two, they actually only have a little bit of money left in their checking account. So what they want to do is person one actually wants to pay five dollars in cash so they're gonna give us that five dollars in cash and now person two wants to put the fourteen dollars and seventy nine cents on their card so now we can take person two's card stick it in the side here process their order and then it's gonna print out right here on our good old printer and since you guys own a restaurant you know how people get difficult when it comes to payments whether they want to split it evenly or they want to split it three ways, but do $5 here, $5 here, 
whatever the case might be, right? This iPad POS can split checks however you want it. So that way there's no issues whatsoever when it actually comes to taking those payments from your customer. Because if you screw up a customer's payment, they're never gonna come back and eat at your restaurant again. If you don't have accurate reporting, you won't know if your business is profitable or not. Our POS comes with this backend reporting. It tracks everything from gross sales to net sales, total orders, the number of people who actually spent money at our business. It also breaks it down by cash and also by card. It can also break it up into categories. For example, what was food? what was drink, what was alcohol. So that way you know exactly where people are spending their money. So that way you can go and buy inventory or buy different things that'll increase your profits in the future. There's a whole list of different reports you can access. It'll even show you which days are your most profitable days and which days are kind of lacking and that you need to actually increase sales on the days where, you know, you might not get a lot. One of my favorite reports is actually a KPI. It's the hourly sales report. This report shows you the times of day where your business is getting a lot of sales and when your business is not getting a lot of sales. So it can kind of help you gauge when you need more staff at your store or when you know you can let people go home. Another one of my favorite reports is this profit margin report. And if you remember what I said before where you can actually input your cost of goods and also your, your profit margin, this report tracks all of that. So if you look all the way at the bottom, it says our gross sales were $216.99, but our cost of goods was actually $50. So our margin was $166.99. And you can pull these reports anytime. You can either do it today, seven days, 30 days, or you can even do years at a time. So that way you know exactly how your business is doing. You can also track all of your inventory within this reporting app. So you can track vendors, you can track manufacturers, your inventory, and even your previous purchase history. So that if an item goes out of stock at your business or is getting low on inventory, this system automatically knows and it will notify you so that you can go and buy more of that one particular item. This system will also keep track of all of your customers from their name, phone number, email, and you can actually send personalized emails within this app right here. For example, if I wanted to send an email to this customer right here, all I would have to do is click on this email button, type my subject and my message, and then go ahead and hit send. Or if you have an email service like MailChimp, you can actually export all of your emails. You can then take this list and upload it to MailChimp so you can email them automatically through a drip campaign. You can also give your employees a username and password so that way they can clock in and clock out on your POS. So you can track all of their hours within this back end software so there's no question about how much money an employee should get paid because every single minute is tracked right here. There's a few other add-ons I think you guys should know about. One of those add-ons is actually a gift card program. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, another one is also reservations and reservations is huge depending on what kind of business you run. If you're running a restaurant, you can actually have people reserve tables right there on your website. And of course your POS will automatically connect with QuickBooks so that way your accountant can go inside of QuickBooks like they usually do and everything will already be there. If you want the best POS on the market for your restaurant, make sure you click on the link down in the description below and you can actually go ahead and fill out the form. And I'm actually gonna give you a call, either myself or someone from my team. You can ask us all the questions that you want and we're gonna go ahead and answer them for you. And if you want that set up right there, you can actually go ahead and purchase it with us. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.